Hi students, I just wanted to record a quick video to show you how distant learning is going to work in science and chemistry and honors chemistry. Let's go ahead and just take a look here. We have a distance learning folder at the very front of your course page. Now this is just a, a practice course page, so yours is not going to exactly look like this, but you're going to find your distant learning folder. I'm just going to go jump into honors chemistry, for example. So here in the distant learning folder, you're going to be greeted with a series of things that you have to do in order, and there's a certain set of completion rules associated with it that make sure that forces you to do them in a specific order. You're basically just starting at the top of your page and you're working your way down. That's what you need to do. So if you look at my page here, the very first thing is what we're looking at right now, the introduction to distant learning. You might notice as you went in that you weren't able to do the things underneath this assignment until you complete this one. So let me just show you what that looks like in a student's perspective. So here we made Dr. Stevens a student and here's her weeks, week one worth of materials in chemistry. Notice that she went through and she already completed many of these items throughout the week. Um, but she's down to the very last two things. So the survey she has not taken, she still needs to make a submission. Um, and then once she does that, the last assignment will open up and she'll be able to view that item. So each item has a certain set of rules that you have to follow by in order to open up the next one. Most of them are just viewing the item or making a submission and then the next thing will open. Now, in your distant learning folder, you have a week's worth of material at a time. So we're only gonna open up one week's worth of material and you've got all week to do it. So jumping here to week one for honors chemistry, for example, you can see it's gonna start with a learning objectives and pacing guide. We're gonna give you an example of what you need to know by the end of the week, as well as a suggested pacing to recommend that you not tackle it all in one week. We'll also have a discussion thread. We want you guys to continue to discuss with each other, to collaborate and to talk and to ask questions. And in fact, as teachers, we'll use those discussion questions during our live teacher sessions, which the information is also posted on Schoology. So basically each week you're gonna be expected to learn something, to practice something, and then to apply it. And so learning could be notes, practice could be just practice problems and applying could be some type of a project and or a quiz. And when you're done, again, you've got all week to get it done. Um, um, that's great. You're, you'll be counted on that. Now we can watch student progress. We can click on this and we can see how far you've gone. So in this folder specifically, these two students haven't done anything. But as we go back, we can watch student progress throughout each of the course. This is where we're going to be tracking attendance to make sure things are done. And if you're not getting it done, that's not good. So make sure you stay on top of things. All right. Good luck, everybody. Good luck with distant learning. We're going to do great on this. It's going to be awesome. Stay healthy, stay strong.